together they start speaking about the weather they say the weather is good or the weather is bad how do you feel it all these questions usually whenever we learn english we start our conversation with this kind of questions when we meet someone oh the weather is hot right oh the weather is beautiful it's raining that's how we start our conversation but today the weather which i'm going to speak is little different my dear students parents teachers and all the well wishers welcome back to another beautiful video of english idioms someone has entered oh i am under the weather then immediately oh i have my umbrella kindly carry it i tell you you are totally mistaken if you give such answer under the weather meaning is i feel ill if you think that under the weather is maybe she is drenched in rain we can give her umbrella and if we can help her it is ignorance that we don't know this idiom how to use in english today we are going to learn this under the weather i am under the weather that means i feel ill then what should be your answer to me don't worry get well soon you will be all right so weather has such a meaning in english idioms learn this today second one someone has come to you and you were trying to talk something but you are not able to have come to one conclusion of that particular situation then ultimately your father or mother or brother brothers or sisters friends they say the ball is in your court the ball is in your court it has nothing to do with the sports and games what you play in the ground it has nothing to do with your soccer court or your shuttle courts or the balls which you use to have the soccer or football or throw ball and handball then what is this the ball is in your court the meaning is it's up to you i only guide you maybe you are in a confusion should i take pcm math physics chemistry maths or pcb physics chemistry biology in the in, uh, intermediate terms state terms mem pc by pc you are in a dilemma and father and mother spoke good things of mpc and good things of by pc your teachers might have motivated and inspired about mpc and by pc ultimately they say the ball is in your court what is the meaning of the ball is in your court it is up to you you are the decision maker are you struggling to make decisions the easy tip to make decision is first thing those who can make decisions easily they know their values they know their ethics those who know their values and ethics they make their decisions correctly that's why this idiom talks about the ball is in your court it's up to you what kind of decision you make because the ball is not in my court it is in your court and third idiom if someone comes to you and you are doing something really nice and they stand up and they say break a leg don't run away don't think that man is coming to break your leg no one is going to break leg no one is hurting you no one is harming you break a leg meaning is good luck how did this emerge usually when drama and theater you know theater is a beautiful thing when you go and sit in theater and see the live drama live action of the people in theatrical dramas all those nowadays because of so much of technology we are impressed with the beautiful graphical pictures and films but even now some of the areas the theater the live performance of the artist is 
such a thing that you will you can never forget that beautiful feel after the theater usually the actors and actresses they come forward on the stage and they bow to you several times they bow they bow to wish you good luck okay you enjoyed my drama and theater so we bow we bow they bow with the knees little down that bow break a leg that's how this word has emerged break a leg that means good luck everything whatever you do definitely brings such a nice good luck for you then suddenly you came across in your school there will be one fellow you might have given one title also show showman show fellow is it not in your group of friends there will be one at least who makes a show show off or they speak something extraordinary there is one fellow sam who speaks so many things which goes above our head one day he was in the ground along with the friends and he started saying the elephant started flying elephants elephants started flying all at a, what where when then then the other friend sam said elephants flying and all other were shocked and the other one who knows him very well from lkg they are all studying together and he looked at other friends and said take it with a pinch of salt take it with a pinch of salt what is this idiom when sam said elephants flying and the close friend has said to others who are you know surprised elephants flying i have never seen the wings to elephants i have seen big ears but never fl flying then the friend when they said take it with a pinch of salt what do you mean by this don't take it seriously so whatever sam says such things you take it with pinch of salt and laugh and move away go back to the class again don't take it seriously take it with pinch of salt idiom meaning is don't take it seriously just listen have fun enjoy these are all the wonderful idioms which we have in english beautiful idioms i want all of you to take little time in your busy days of monday to saturday every day try to look at one idiom if not every day once in a week have that idioms in english like that we have in every language also but as i am an educationist where i teach my students english i want to just bring it to your notice this beautiful english idioms where we can use in our day to day life and when others don't able to understand we can give the meaning so that they also can start using it because english idioms are fun learning effective learning makes your conversation more interesting be blessed have a nice day